Hey, what's up, everybody? So we're back at it again, filming a car. You got it. Today we're sitting inside of a 2008 Honda Accord EXL with leather and V6 engine, right? Now, today's video, we're going to talk about this Honda Accord and let you see it. But we're also going to talk about used cars for a little bit today, right? Because there's probably some of y'all out there that might be starting to dabble a little bit and selling pre-owned cars whether you sell a car to at your house on the weekends or at evening times after you get off of work or maybe you're you know you've been doing that already for a little while and uh you know maybe you're getting to the point where you're like you know this car selling thing i've been doing it on the side and it's working out and maybe you want to find a place and start your own car lot right well you know there's a lot of folks out there that want to be entrepreneurs and want to have their own business you know, I can't disagree with that. You know, I like to have one myself, but we're going to talk about all that stuff today right here on CCV. So stay with me. All right, let's take this Honda Accord down the road here and see how, how she drives. So first off, this car right here is one of those cars that you buy to, um, to, to sell, right? You know? It's, it's one of those cars when you're maybe getting started in the car business and you're like, you know, I got to get some cars on a lot. I don't have maybe a whole lot of uh, capital to go out and buy tons of vehicles. So you're out there and you're trying to find just the right pre-owned vehicles for your store or for yourself, you know, that you can sell. that are still quality cars that don't break down all the time and give your, you know, potential customers problems or even yourself a problem, right? And, uh, and all that, and you still wanna to try to make maybe a, some kind of profit on the car at the end of the day. Because truly, that's really th the game plan, is to buy a car, flip it, make a few bucks, and, uh, and move on to the next one. And if you can do that, uh, you know, several times a week or a month, you're gonna be doing pretty good, right? You're gonna be making yourself some extra money, which is always nice. So this is a, first off, it's a 2008 Honda Accord EXL. Now I want you to take a guess real quick before I tell you how much you would actually buy this car for, right? You know, like how much money do you think a car like this should sell for at a car lot or even on the internet or something like that, right? Now the mileage on this car is 258,000 miles. So yeah, it's, uh, it's got some miles on it, right? So what do you think? Put in the comment section, how much do you think this car can sell for at a car lot, right? You ready? All right, go for it. All right, so you put your comment down there or maybe you just maybe you just thought about it. So this car, I've did the research, we've done the research online to see what kind of money a car like this brings on the, uh, on the car market. And it actually can be sold for, at least down here on the east coast of the country, for around $4,900. So that's what we're selling the car for. 4,900 bucks, $5,000, right? Now you could always sell it for a little less or a little more, but if you ask more than $4,900 for it, and 4,900 may be even pushing it just a little bit, but if you start getting over that, like 5,990, you really are pushing it a bit. Because again, at the end of the day, it is a 08. We're right now in July of 2021. And uh, so the car's got some age on it and the car has got 258,000 miles. So asking six grand to me is a, a little too much, right? But to each his own. If you wanna ask six for it, have at it, and maybe you'll get somebody to come in and offer you 55 and you got yourself a great deal. So that's the thing. You wanna go out there and figure out what you wanna price your cars for. But before you can even do that, you gotta go out there and actually be able to get the cars. All right, so I'm going to actually walk you around and let you see what this 2008 Honda Accord actually looks like. And I will tell you, when we traded it in at the dealership, it actually really wasn't all that dirty. Um, you know, I mean, every car you trade in needs to probably be cleaned up and detailed and all that. But what I'm getting at, it wasn't really a filthy, nasty, dirty car. Some people's cars are filthy, nasty, dirty. This one wasn't the case so much. Now, the interesting thing when the customer came up to our store 
the customer bought a car from me. I did all the paperwork. I did the complete deal on another vehicle. And, uh, you know, the customer bought the other car. And then at the last minute, when I'm getting ready to print up her paperwork for the tag, you know, are you getting a new license plate? Or are we gonna go ahead and transfer your tag over? She goes, yeah, I'm gonna just transfer the tag off the car that's outside out there. I said, well, what are you doing with the car that's outside out there, right? She goes, oh, I'm just gonna take it home and we're probably just gonna put it up and, and sell it. That's when I went right into, well, would you sell it to us? Well, let me call my husband and talk to him. She calls her husband up and her husband says, yeah, sure, I'll sell it to them but I'd like to get this much for it. So at that point, I got the keys, I went outside, I test drove it, I got the next guy, our manager, to take a look at the car. He drove it with me. We felt out some things on it, make sure everything was good, make sure transmission's good, the motor, the shocks, you know, everything. Because at the end of the day, it is an 08 Accord with 158,000 miles on it, right? And it actually didn't do too bad. So at that point, we made them an offer for it what, that we would pay for the car. And then there's a little, you know, a little negotiation there from what they wanted to what we wanted to meeting in the middle. And at the end of the day, it worked out. We got a car. So that's how it goes. But the other thing to think about, if you're out there trying to start your own car lot or even buying and selling a few cars on the side, that kind of situation doesn't always happen, right? Because... That only happened because I sold her a car and she happened to have this one and told me about it. But if you're out there trying to find cars to sell and you don't have a car lot with inventory to be able to sell somebody a car and get a trade in, you got to go out there and find your own inventory. And if you don't have a dealer's license and all that, you can't go out at the auctions and buy cars. Really, the only thing you can do is try and find cars that individuals have and then buy their car. So go on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, those types of things, and try to make an offer and get a car like that, and then try to flip it. That's really all you can do. And that's a little bit more difficult. So in reality, sometimes you gotta have your own inventory to really get in this game and get it started. So here's what it looks like, right? I mean, this is the 2008 Honda Accord 3.5i VTEC, you know, V6. And realistically, when you look at it, you can say to yourself, yeah, that's a $5,000 car. And to me, honestly, it kind of looks like it's a $8,000 car because it's clean. And that is definitely very important. Presentation is so important if you're getting yourself into the used car business, folks. You need to understand that. There's so many car lots and car salespeople and car dealers out there. There's tons of them. But that's what makes you stand out from the rest is your presentation with the pre-owned vehicle. And I definitely make sure when we're filming these cars that I get the best pictures possible that I can get without taking too much time up. I'm not saying I'm running out there with a Canon 70D and going and filming it with a 50 millimeter lens, right? But we're using the cell phones and things like that to move quickly to get the photos the best that we can without spending too much time time is money at the end of the day so if your if your detail team does a fantastic job on getting the car cleaned up and all you getting really good pictures shouldn't be too difficult because you're already filming a nice clean car and like this car here you look at it like i said earlier you know if if you were thinking about it and you've seen a for sale sign of this car just sitting on the side of the road without a price attached to it you might say to yourself, this kind of, to me, to guess, kind of looks like an $8,000 car or even a $99.90 car, right? A $10,000 car. But in reality, it probably would be a $10,000 car. I used to work at a place that sold cars just like this. And this body style has been around for a little minute now. But anyways, what I'm getting at, we used to sell cars buy here, pay here. That means in-house financing, no credit check. We'd sell an 08 Accord but 130, 150,000 miles for 10, nine, 11, nine, those types of prices. But definitely when you bump up to 258K, it drops the price dramatically. So that's why we're at 49.90. But you can find a good quality pre-owned car out there to buy. 
just earlier today, I sold the Toyota Yaris. And if you're watching on the channel, you may have seen the Toyota Yaris video that I just posted before this one. And uh, that little Toyota Yaris sold for just around $4,000. Actually, a little bit more than that, $4,100. So that was a very clean car that was on sale for $39.90. And, uh, you know, we had a customer come in that called this morning. They came back today and they bought it. And we had a customer that came in in the middle of the day and looked at the same car. And that Kurt person offered us, you know, kind of lowballed us a little bit on the money for what they wanted to buy the car for. And they didn't buy it. The other thing, guys and girls, if you're working in the car business, you know, if you got a car that you know is worth the money that you're selling it for, and we know right now, people are looking for cash cars. Anything five grand or less that runs good with cold AC is worth the money, okay? Um, you know, if someone comes in and lowballs you, don't take the deal because there's definitely another family or another person out there that'll buy that car for pretty close to what you're asking for it as long as you're being reasonable. We're not knocking people's heads off and that's not the way you do good business by knocking people's heads off. We're just selling good quality pre-owned cars, even if it's a 08 Accord with 258 on it. This car still should do pretty good for somebody out there looking to buy a car for around 4,900. All right, guys, have a great day. If you got any questions about the car business, used cars, buying cars, selling cars, feel free to ask in the comments section. I've been doing this since 2001 and uh, I really enjoy it. We'll see you soon. So this is what we call paying attention to the details when we're making sure a car is clean, right? You know, uh, we clean the car, wash it and all that. And a lot of times, um, you know, depending on how the rims are sitting when you're cleaning the car with the degreaser and all, you won't, you won't see this because it's on the top. And uh, so we even come back over even on, even on an 08 Accord with 158,000 miles. And, uh, and I'll, I'll do a little better job here in a minute, but we'll, come back over and I'm gonna hit this with some cleaner and uh, get all this this you know this brake dust off of these wheels and it will make a world of difference when uh, when I get done <laughs> 